to upon the birth of her firstborn child March 1833 William Wordsworth Amperson Quo. Trunporo Pewer, Ut Sevis Projectus Abundis Navida, Nudges Humi Jacet, etc. Amperson Quo. Lucretius. Like a shipwrecked sailor tossed by rough waves on a perilous coast, lies the babe, in helplessness and in tenderest nakedness, flung by laboring nature forth upon the mercies of the earth? Can its eyes beseech? No more than the hands are free to implore, voice but serves for one brief cry. Plaint was it? Or prophecy of sorrow that will surely come? Omen of man's grievous doom. But, O oh mother! By the close duly granted to thy throes, by the silent thanks, now tending incense like to heaven, descending now to mingle and to move with the gush of earthly love, as a debt to that frail creature, instrument of struggling nature for the blissful calm, the peace known but to this one release, can the pitying spirit doubt that for humankind springs out from the penalty a sense of more than mortal recompense? As a floating summer cloud, though of gorgeous drapery proud, to the sunburnt traveller, or the stooping labourer, oft times makes its bounty known by its shadow round and thrown. So, by checkerings of sad cheer, heavenly guardians, brooding near, of their presence tell, too bright haply for corporeal sight. Ministers of grace divine feelingly their brows incline o'er this seeming castaway breathing, in the light of day, something like the faintest breath that has power to baffle death, beautiful, while very weakness captivates like passive meanness. And, sweet mother, under warrant of the universal parent, who repays in season do them you have, like thee, been true to the filial chain let down from his everlasting throne, angels hovering round thy couch, with their softest whispers vouch, that, whatever griefs may fret, cares entangle, since beset, this thy firstborn, and with tears stain her cheek in future years, heavenly succour, not denied to the babe, what air betide, will to the woman be supplied. Mother! Blessed be thy calm ease! Blessed the starry promises, and the firmament benign hallowed be it, where they shine! Yes, for them whose souls have scope ample for a winged hope, and can earthward bend an ear for needful listening, pledge is here, that, if thy newborn charge shall tread in thy footsteps, and be led by that other guide, whose light of manly virtues, mildly bright, gave him first the wished for part in thy gentle virgin heart. Then, amid the storms of life presignified by that dread strife whence ye have escaped together, she may look for serene weather. In all trials sure to find comfort for a faithful mind. Kindlier issues, holier rest, than even now await her pressed, conscious nursling, to thy breast.